All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to talk about creating and uploading your own emojis, your custom emojis, to your Discord server so that you can post them. So I've got a whole bunch of them right here, everything from troll faces to, like, hey, hey, from Moana, and, like, a scam alert button so we can warn people about scams that I and my moderators have added to our server so that people can use them. And we still have like 25 slots to use. You can actually see how many slots you have if you go to your server settings. And then there's like a whole section here for emojis and then you have like 20, well, generally you have 50 custom slots available before having Discord Nitro and you can get even more after that. Uh, but I've got 25 slots available right now to add more stuff to. You can see all the other stuff that my moderators have added already. So let's go ahead and look at what other fun stuff we could add. Now, the reference for anyone at home is the emojis can be 128 by 128 pixels large, and then they have to be under 256 kilobytes in size to be uploaded. Technically, you can upload them a little bit larger, and Discord will kind of rescale them down for you, but their size limitations are still. Uh, at least for file size, for kilobyte size, is still important. So we're going to A, open up Photoshop, which I already have open in the background here, and B, we're going to look at some pictures that we can size down and turn into emoji. So first up, let's open up a new, uh, a new document here, and I'm going to make that 128 by 128, provided uh, my Photoshop doesn't explode. So once this is open, I'll just set this up by 128 by 128. If you guys at home don't have access to Photoshop or another photo editor that you're super familiar with, I'm sure there's other tools out there that will accommodate your emoji making needs. I'll probably look at what those are after I'm done making this tutorial and then show you how to use that to give you a different set of tools that you can use that are also free so that you're not stuck trying to find out how to install Photoshop or something else if that's not available to you. So for Photoshop, I'm gonna set it by 128 by 128. I'm gonna leave the resolution at 72 pixels per inch, and I'm gonna hit Create. As you can see, it's a relatively small workspace to uh, work from, but it'll give us some nice constraints to crop images to exactly what we want them to look like. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up my browser, and then here's some information that I had open that tells you, you know, they can be up to 128 pixels by 128. Uh, they'll always get resized to 32 by 32. And then to upload them, they must have a file size smaller than 256 kilobytes. And I'm just going to look up some dumb reaction faces like Keenan Thompson from Saturday Night Live is a good one. We'll grab that. And then, oh, I don't know, this one's good. We'll grab KSI, because KSI is funny. And then what else looks good? wonder if there's like any goofy react. Like goofy, oh, here we go, perfect. We'll grab goofy. And then this guy looks, actually no, this guy. With the crazy big eyes. So we're going to grab Keenan Thompson first, so we'll just copy this image by right-clicking it. And we'll open up Photoshop, and then we'll just paste him in there, if it wants to behave itself. Looks like it's freaking out a little bit. And we will paste Keenan in here, and it's going to be way too big, I can already tell you, by like a million times bigger than it needs to be. So we're just going to hit Control-T to resize it, and we're going to do our best to put his face as much inside of the square as possible. We can cut his hat off a little bit, and that looks pretty good. We'll hit oh, Enter, and then I'm just going to go ahead and immediately save this file inside of... Do I have some emojis in here already from when I last did this? Let's just make a Discord emojis folder. Then I'll just save this as my, whoops, didn't want to do that. I'll save this as my Discord emoji template. 
And then I will save this again as a copy and we'll just call this the Keenan emoji. I think that's how you spell his name. If not, my apologies. And that's only 33 kilobytes. So that's definitely within the size limitation because you can see that when you do the save preview and you go to save it as a JPEG. You can see here, it's 33.5K. I know it's hard to see on your screen. Actually, it's a little bit hard to see on my screen. But this is nice thing about the JPEG saving options inside of Photoshop is it tells you exactly what the size is going to be when it's done. We can even dial it back to like a nine to make it even smaller, but we've got 256 kilobytes of space to work with. So that's more than enough. So we're just gonna keep going through and grabbing the pictures that we want to turn into reactions. In fact, we might even be able to get a much better, creepier Woody picture like this one. Perfect. Because Woody, Woody can't look normal. That's against the rules. I don't make the rules. I just, you know, I, I follow them and enforce them here. So we're gonna make this, wow, this is a really big image. But we're just gonna hit Control T again to hit open the free transform tool. And I'm just gonna do my best to try to make Woody fit all inside of that square without having like weird bars of something on the sides. I'm gonna hit save and we're gonna call that Woody emoji. We'll save that as a JPEG again. And then after that, we've got KSI. Grab KSI's picture. Throw him in there. That'll be like KSI Disgust. And we'll save that. I'll only do like five of these because I'm going to let my moderators and admins mostly handle what stuff they feel like would be good on the server. Because the community is far more than just myself. And they are going to be the ones that will probably end up using these more than I will. We'll grab Goofy's picture. Goofy's seen some, seen some shit, man. He really has. This is what all those years of being a single parent do to you. Just say, Goofy emoji. We'll select JPEG again. And if you want to do a transparent emoji, you can do that without having Discord Nitro. You just have to save it as a PNG with a transparent background. But you do have that option. So that's Goofy, and then whatever this guy's name is. Whoops. So sometimes it'll post the same picture over and over again because it hasn't loaded the new picture into... Uh, Photoshop, just like click another window outside of Photoshop and then click Photoshop again, and then it'll paste the correct new picture. Sometimes it does that. I don't know why. It's just derpy on occasion, as many Adobe products tend to be. That's perfect. So we'll just make sure that you can see his eyes going, what the heck? And then we'll just say, like, wide eyed emoji. Then we'll just save that to the same folder. And then now with this done, I'll just hit control S to save the template again with all these pictures. I can then go back in here and I can click upload emoji and I'm uncertain that that's underneath my tutorial files and I don't know, does it let me upload all five of them at once? I think it does. Oh yeah, it does. And then it'll automatically give them a name based upon what the file name is which is why I made sure each one of the file names had something. And so they're automatically set up for you, but you can like change the alias so that if somebody like goes into the uh, emojis and searches for an emoji, you probably want this to say like KSI reaction. Keenan O face. Woody creepin' goofy stare wide eyed WTF. And there you go. 
And so now we can add these emojis that I just put in here. We got like Goofy, then we've got Keenan, KSI, where's that? This guy, and then what was the other one I added? Woody, did we get Woody? Here we go, Woody. So there is five new emojis that I've added to the server that anyone can use. And if you do pay for Discord Nitro, you can literally use emojis that other people have uploaded on their servers as well, but only if you pay for it. So you could be posting all this weird, bizarre nonsense from all over the internet as much as you like. And you could also use the um, animated ones if you pay for it, but since I don't pay for Discord Nitro right now, I don't have access to animated emojis. It's also worth noting if you want to put emojis inside of your channel names like we've done, you can do that, but only with the default emojis that there are available. Otherwise, you're kind of SOL. You have to use the ones that are like built into Unicode, the default ones that work across like Android, iPhone, computer, like PC, Mac, everything. The custom ones don't work that way. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look in 2022 how you can create and upload your very own custom emojis and put them into Discord. I hope you found this helpful. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody, and have a good one. Oh, I suppose I should cover how to remove these as well. So let's take a look at that. So emojis, if you want to delete any of these, you can just hover over them and hit the X. You can also see who uploaded them if, like, your moderators have been uploading a bunch of them. Like, uh... I'm not sure who uploaded these ones. It must have been one of my other admins' alt accounts. Because uh, it says deleted user with a number. So those might get recycled and replaced. But that's just a good idea of how to see who uploaded something. And then you can see how to delete them by just hovering over them and hitting the X. Not everybody has the ability to moderate these. You have to give people underneath the roles the permission to edit and adjust emojis. One of these even has like, in, and here it is, manage emojis and stickers is right here. You can give them this permission. If they don't have this or they're not an admin, then they can't touch it. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been a brief look at how to edit emojis in 2022. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.